The Calgary Board of Education has had a program called uh, YYC Open Minds, which is basically off-site campuses throughout the city designed to get students out of the classroom and into the real world, if you will. We opted to look at two school, and so our biggest question, I guess, going into this was, you know, why can't Calgary uh, eradicate homelessness if Medicine Hat can? The kids had gone to the Mustard Seed, the drop-in center. They went to St. Stephen's Church, In From the Cold, Cups. So they had to gather a lot of information from many different sources and uh, interview different people look online and research and then create a document so uh, it, it, the actual assignment is called documenting experience in both a visual and a written way and then they were able to take all that information then we introduced them to Nariva. The kids were really blown away by this technology and they were able to then take the information they had and then organize it using the SPAN technology. Watching these connections form and these friendships in some cases form as a result of their collaboration was interesting for me. So I think what was most exciting about the Nareva technology is the fact that, and as you can see even in the classroom, traditionally we might create a poster and put all of our information that we have gleaned from a research project based on text or, or otherwise, which is fine, but the excitement that you see in kids when they're able to use technology and interact with it and each other at the same time and do so easily was much more motivational for them. It's an important skill for kids to have when they're graduating that they can actually work in these teams and they can collaborate and they can communicate and do it interactively in one fell swoop rather than you know working uh, in isolation. As they were doing their presentations in class there is that time at the end of their 10 to 12 minute presentation where the rest of the class can ask questions and some of the questions that the students were asking of each other, it was, you know, it was brilliant. You can't make that happen, you know. So you, you just basically sit back and watch the magic as a teacher, which is, you know, best part of, you know, it's better than standing up at the front of the class and, you know, talking at them. They're the ones creating the questions and learning. I learned as much from them, you know, and, and from the experiences as they did for sure.